hello everyone welcome back to the channel today i will show you a new custom workflow based on one fun model this workflow allows you to do video face swapping cloud swapping and also logo incrustation on a video so if you are looking to get results like this one make sure to follow my tutorial and without further ado let's get started okay before we start make sure to head over my patreon in order to download the workflow for this video once it is downloaded, just make sure to drag and drop this workflow here. Okay, once you open up this workflow, you will find that it is composed of two main groups. The first group is the Ace Portrait and Logo group, which will allow you to do the, the object swapping in general. Uh, either it is a face or a clothes, but also a logo. And if you are looking to get more details about this ACE uh, technology, you can watch my other tutorial that I made a long time ago. So what basically is going to do is we're going to take a, an input image and a reference image. If you can focus on this example, you can see that on this input image, I managed to select uh, the shirt of this uh, young boy in order to generate an image with the new shirt. That I'm gonna use later on in a, to generate a video. So as you can see here we managed to change the clothes of this uh, young man. If you look uh, more closer you can see that here we have the flux fill model which has uh, the unit loader for the flux fill. We have the VAE the dual clip loader and here we have the main uh, core of this model section which is the Turbo Flux LoRa that allows you to generate uh, the image more uh, faster. But also we have uh, three different LoRa that are uh, dedicated for every application. If you are looking for face swapping, make sure to select this portrait LoRa here by enabling this button. If you are looking for uh, logo encrustation or uh, cloud swapping, make sure to select this subject LoRa. Then this model is uh, plugged into this apply first block cache, which is going to help us to create this image more uh, quickly. And this model here is directly connected to the key sampler. We also have this image processing, but I will not bother you too much with this uh, detail. Put your mind that I automate the process here, starting with the image input and uh, masking, but also the necessary prompt for the image generation. So all you have to do here is to drag the input image, the reference image, and click your prompt in order to get these results. Okay, but you have to put in mind that this image was uh, extracted from a video uh, that I wanted to do some editing. So to do that, all you have to focus is this fast group bypasser. Make sure to bypass the fun control net group, which is the second uh, main group of this workflow you need to enable this image extract from video but also this video input reference so make sure to enable this one sorry make sure to enable those two once it is done all you have to do is put here your video where you have different parameters starting with frame load cap i managed to limit the, the the duration of this video according to my needs this low frame load cap value was uh, equivalent to the length of the generated video you can also see here that i have the high and width of my video i make sure to limit this value too since i have a low uh, vram gpu once it is done it's gonna extract the, fr the first frame from uh, this video as you can see here then this first frame can be used by just copy and paste uh, the, this clipboard here and you can start to uh, do your editing either it is a face swapping or close swapping so once you have uh, pick up your first image make sure to enable everything here and this way you're gonna use this first image then new image is gonna be generated based on uh, your input after that we will have uh, the video generation process that will start automatically too. All you have to do here is to make sure that you have this uh, second group enabled. And this uh, main group is also composed of different many other groups, starting with the model and VAE loader. I will grab your attention that I am using skip player guidance here. 
uh, alongside with one video tika and uh, i noticed that uh, most of you don't have the tika notes that is uh, a very complicated problem for me since it is uh, related to the author of these notes every updates we have uh, some notes that can be broken or that disappear so uh, if you are facing uh, some missing notes uh, using my uh, custom workflow make sure to either try to install the missing custom notes or try to find another uh, notes or alternative for it good okay as i said earlier the video is going to be created automatically and in order to create this type of video this workflow is going to take into consideration the control net data that is generated here we have here on this group the the combination of both control net uh, usage we have uh, the depth map that was created using this node and the pose estimator created using this node both images are going to be combined here and the final video can be seen here and based on that, we're gonna use this fun uh, uh, one fun control to video notes, which is gonna have different input, starting with the start image and the control video. The control video is gonna be the one created using the control net preprocessors. However, for the start image is gonna be this image that we this image that we created using the ACE groups. So the video is going to start generating. So the model is going to start generating the video starting with this image. And uh, it's going to also be helped using this prompt generator here that I am using too in order to create this final results. The main advantage using this method, it is using less VRAM and it is very adaptable for low VRAM graphic uh, card users. Since we have the VASE model that need uh, a lot of VRAM memory, However, with this uh, workflow, you can obtain the same results without getting uh, any use. I tested this uh, workflow for a week now, and I am getting a pretty good results. The consistency is here. Sometimes uh, I am getting uh, bad results. All you have to do to fix that is to focus on the key sampler here. You need to change the CFG scale between four to six, but also you can play with the steps I managed to uh, obtain uh, all the good results so with the step value uh, between 20 and 25. So all you have to do here is do another try. And as you can see, the results is pretty convenient. Okay, if you are used to my workflow now, you can notice that I did not include any upscaler notes. The main reason behind that, that uh, the quality of the input video are pretty good and we are only generating a part of those video which uh, is helpful in order to create a good quality content using a low vram so i strongly recommend you to use the, this workflow for video editing since we have the ability to do some changes without uh, any high consumption of uh, the vram memory of course you can find all the necessary requirements for your model here but also on my previous tutorial that focus on the ACE++ uh, workflow. Okay, that's it for today's tutorial. If you like this video, please push the like button for me, subscribe to my channel, leave me some comments down below, and don't forget to watch my other video tutorial. You can also become a member of my Patreon channel in order to get uh, early access to my content, starting with workflow and the other uh, news related to AI generation or ComfyUI. So, thank you.